What's up guys? I am at O'Reilly's. I came to pick up some tools for the brakes. I'm doing the brakes today for the MS3. So let's get to it. All right, let's go in here and uh, get what we need. Mm, let's get some of that brake cleaner. Just break it, right. <laughs> don't br break, break it. it yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, I got what I needed and the rental was like 50 some dollars. I was basically buying the tool kit. When the guy brought it over, he's like, oh, it's a brand new toolbox and I decided to buy it. So there it is, brand new. I don't have to buy it anymore, come rent it. And I don't have to waste time to come to the store and rent it out. So I just bought it. All right, guys, so I saved seven bucks. I saved 10 bucks. It's not bad. So I got a couple of packages on the mail. I ordered from uh, Rock Auto. I have to say, Rock Auto is the best. They, I literally, I ordered it like I think Sunday and I received the brakes on Tuesday. And then I got this uh, yesterday, I think. I'm still missing one more piece for the Mazda Speed. Hopefully it gets here today. So I ordered uh, the replacement rear brakes. These are the rear. We're gonna do the rear for now. I already do have the rear brake pads, so let's get to it. So this is what it looks like. Let's clean it up. And then uh, let's get to it. First thing first, we gotta remove this metal clip. I'm sure I could probably do it with my hand. But anyway, you gotta remove this metal clip right here. There we go. All right, after that's done, first is first, make sure if you have the car on jack stands, to do not put the parking brake on. I repeat, do not put the parking brake on. You can jack the car up from the centerpiece down there. Perfectly fine there. And then when you come back here, there's these weird caps. You just pull them out. There we go. And then, uh, you can't see it, but I'll show you the tool that you need. So the tool that you're gonna need is a number seven. And it looks just like this. You're gonna put it right in there. All right, perfect. So there it is, it came out. One bolt here, bottom there. But I'll wiggle it out and I'll come out. As you guys can see, how look at how ugly this rotor is. And the pads are glazed and look at they're about done look at they're wearing out uneven for those of you that are new here um i just purchased this car about a month ago so i'm slowly refurbish refurbishing it back to oem or better quality so let's get to this i'm not sure if I should paint this or not, but let's see how much time I have. I'm, I should have enough time to paint them and let them dry and everything. All right guys, so before anything else, I'm just gonna go ahead and clean and try to get this as much as clean as possible. Before we get to cleaning though, we gotta push this sucker in. So these are the tools I just went and bought from O'Reilly's. You can rent them. I think uh, AutoZone is probably cheaper to rent. It's like 20 bucks. But these are semi-new. Um, I'm sure it's probably been used once or twice. But, you know, it it is what it is. I purchased it, so I don't have to invest any more money into tools, renting out every time, and wasting time and stuff. So, All right, guys. So that one is a size K. But these, or it's pretty rusted in there, so... 
I'm just gonna get a drill bit and then uh, drill it out a little bit, bore out the hole so they can fit perfectly. It's a little bit too snug and it doesn't fit perfect. So handy dandy, just bore it out a little bit, just enough to uh, make that tool fit. All right guys, so this is how it works. Put this in, I couldn't film and uh, do this at the same time. So you put this in like this and then you make sure you line up the holes with the holes in there and you turn clockwise. So I got it all pushed in. Now I'm gonna clean it, uh, throw in some brake cleaner and clean it up. All right guys, so after that, if you're gonna replace your rotors, you gotta undo that one and this one. Look at how much rust. We're gonna clean it up and make it all nice and pretty, but these two right here. So I got everything removed. Now we gotta move this. To remove this, you gotta use a mallet or anything you got to tap with I'm gonna use a rubber mallet this is what I'm using all right guys so I gave it a coat of primer but before I did a coat of primer I cleaned it I put some uh, brake cleaner on it I used my brush I brushed it off and cleaned it as much as I could and then I gave it a coat of primer <clears throat> well Without removing the caliper completely, you know, uh, I just taped up most of the stuff that goes here, the hose for the fluid and all the other stuff in there too as well, taped it off. Oh wow, <laughs> I got a mess of tools and everything. I'm gonna kind of clean up again and organize everything. I'm letting the caliper dry. I'm gonna start working on the other side. So while I do that, let this side dry and clean up. So same process on this side, remove this clip and then remove these two back here and then the other two. Alright guys, so let's get to it. taken care of now I gotta clean this caliper do the same thing I did with the other one and uh, let the other side still dry once I'm done with this side I'll start prepping the other side to put it on cleaned it as best I could my drill died on me so I'll just I got it as good as I could Pretty much almost down on both sides. Just gotta finish the last two bolts, but this is what it looks like. Kinda cleaned it. Looks decent, looks better. Here's the other side. Looks good. Almost done. Hey guys, I'm all done. Don't forget to finish putting the clip in. And uh, I'm about to put the tires back on and everything. If you like today's content, make sure you subscribe, comment, and like. And I'll see you guys next time. Stay fresh. If you would only talk to the Lord.